here. This is what the Scottish Borders Council or Tourist Board or whoever it is have spent their money on promoting as a tourist attraction. Beginning of the century water wheel. Nice thing. But one mile up the road you've got a castle built in fourteen ninety three you used them. Battles against the English as a prison, steeped in ancient history. But yeah, this is what we spend our money on. Fantastic. Now don't get me wrong here, this is a lovely wee walk and you know maybe bring the kids, bring your bring the grandparents, go and see the, the salmon at the end there, which is quite interesting, but we'll just get it all wrong, aren't we? I'm not actually sure. I'm not actually sure what it is they're doing here. They're obviously renovating it or something, or making it more sort of tourist friendly. But flipping shut it off in the middle of the summer, peak tourist season. So I'm kind of out and a wing and a prayer here in the mid middle of the river, trying to get a view of what the hell they're doing. See if I can zoom in and let you see. Whoa. Like we're going to try and channel the salmon into some sort of artificial ladder there so you can see them better. What is the point of that? It just takes away the whole natural aspect of it. You'd as well just go and see the fucking salmon in the zoo, wouldn't you? Is the problem with all these natural tourist attractions like the salmon jump here? They latch on to the fact that it's popular and try and make it better by brutalising it with concrete, steel, and viewing centres and visitor centres, and it just completely ruins the whole thing. And nobody wants to go anywhere. And leave it natural, let people come see the salmon in their natural environment. What they have actually done here, and I'm not making this up, at the Salmon the Viewing Centre, they've put in little televisions where you can come to the Salmon Jump site, go inside the visiting centre and sit and watch the Salmon on television. And it's the same in the Peebles at the Osprey Centre. So you go up to see the Ospreys and what you do is you get led into a wee building and you sit and watch the Ospreys on television. Now, call me old fashioned, but would it not just be better to sit in your house and watch the hotel or David Attenborough version which would be better? Getting to this place today, it's called New York Tower. Big old castle it was used as a stronghold against the English in the 1400s. You can see when you come across to the wall here, look how thick the wall is. And you can see these holes everywhere that were used for put putting the guns through. I'll walk around it now. I see the coat of arms on this side of the hill. Something, something to do with the links to royalty. I don't know what that is. There's another spooky view in though. Jeez. Keep getting disturbed and stuff, I don't know what it is. It's not me, it's just something happening. 
Something's not right. There's a wee door. I see the wee door, this was obviously the, the entrance, but like anybody's been in here for a few years. Overdrawn the nettles. Another route I'm not even going to get round to. This is a, a good view here, I've kind of climbed up the, the battlement walls here so I can see right, I can see right in the top here. Yeah, I'll we'll try and zoom in a bit. subject to tourism. I've come here to Gallish Hills Church, St Paul's Church in Gallish Hills for the greatest missed opportunity in tourism ever. Peregrine falcons here all day, every day, breeding pear. You know, you go to the Greymare's Tail Peregrine Falcon Centre, I can absolutely 100% guarantee you won't see a peregrine falcon. You go to the Osprey Centre in Peebles, I can almost guarantee you won't see an osprey apart from on TV. You come here, I'll almost guarantee you that we'll see these peregrine falcons here today, so we'll just take a walk around and I'll, I'll try and get them on film for us. Ah, he's not there. He's sometimes at the... There's a circular bit at the front, he's sometimes sits there in the morning. Generally in the afternoon they move further up the tower so they can swoop down and get the pigeons that live underneath them. Strongly advise if you're a pigeon not to move into this church. Aha, there he is. Just zoom in, let you see him. Or hard for no sure. Hello. There he is. All day, every day. 